make a little graph in Excel and the way we're going to do this is first we're going to plot intercepts for the graph. This will be the x-intercept so I'm going to plot 100, 0 and here's the y-intercept. I'm going to plot 0, 60. This will be our budget line. I am now going to insert a chart and the type of chart we choose, and this is outside the picture, so we're going to show the type of chart we choose is an XY scatter, and we will go to um, this type with the straight lines, and then go to next. I want to start with my data series, and the sheet has my X values as, um, I want to do it this way, those are my X values, and this way, these are my Y values. Okay, and then I'm going to go to next, and now I need to move this in so it's actually being recorded. This is a simple budget constraint. And on the x-axis, I'm going to say this is good x. And on the y-axis, I'm going to say this is good y. And here is next. And I'm going to plot this as an object in the current worksheet. And so let's finish it. And there it is. And let's now, oops undo that. Let's select the whole graph and see if we can move it up. And now I want to make this bigger and bigger this way. And then let's make the graph area bigger. Um, let's make the font here. Oh, I guess I've got my most of my menu bar closed. So let's just make this a little bigger and um, again, how about if we move the whole chart this way a little bit so then I can pull it, pull the chart that way, and now make this wider, pull it back over here, and we're beginning to get it right. Uh, we can do a little bit better job. Well, so there you have our little movie of how we make a um, simple chart, simple graph in Excel. And um, now my goal, if I can figure this out, is how to stop recording. But right now I'm not seeing that. So I'm going through a bunch of windows to try to find the stop recording. Here, it looks like the